Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning visitor, I'm really glad that you're back again. In today's video, we are going to uh, talk about something called uh, image to texture, which is one of the latest updates of Soft and City Sampler. And uh, actually with this video, I'm uh, trying to create something that uh, the commenter on uh, one of my other videos requested, which is a lace material. And I was like, oh, you cannot make a lace material with a sampler, but you actually can. It's just going, going to be a little bit different. So we are going to give it a go with this image to texture filter and let's just jump into it. So for this project, you can actually use anything that you capture, like any kind of surface, like a, a bark of a tree or anything like that, or a, or a pavement, photo of a pavement or anything like that. Uh, but for this video, I was a little bit lazy and I also don't really have any pretty lace in my house at the moment. So I went to Adobe Stock and I chose one of these images which look uh, look, uh, look really nice and I thought that maybe this would work for my project. So this is how we got the image. I kind of wanted to have myself uh, at the beginning, so um, what I think it's uh, important is that uh, you, you need more contrast in this material, so I would say that uh, you have to amp up a little bit the white and uh, the black. So now we have this nice black and, black and white uh, contrast. And uh, hopefully this is going to be enough for the AI to pick up this thing that I want to have a black and black, white uh, lace material. So here we are in Successive Sampler and I just opened a new project and I opened um, this generative panel and I selected texture and here you can this, uh, see this little picture icon and it means that this is how you, where you can uh, import your image and you, you just uh, you just uh, click on it and you just um, locate your project that's much easier if you don't have like a hundred thousand projects on your on your computer obviously um, so here we are, here I found the image that I want to use and I just click on open and we don't have to do anything else, just click on generate and the result is going to be four different variations of this lace material and these are going to be seamless images and we can basically start, um, start working with these image maps immediately when they are, uh, they are generated. So these are the results that we got. It looks really interesting. Of course, it's a little bit of an abstract lace, lace fabric and it, it looks a little bit like vintage and uh, like weathered, but I, I kind of like this structure. So what I did is that uh, I just uh, started to drag and drop this, uh, this uh, texture into the, into the viewport and if we can decide what kind of material we would like to use. For this, I just uh, imported it as a, textures, textures import and this is basically our base color and um, we can create different different layers from this uh, from this material and we just have to add a couple of more of these uh, these layers and you can just change it to roughness uh, if you would like to I just want to quickly check it because this is a black and white image, you can also create a, a, a height map from it. Let's see how it's uh, how it's working. You can just change the output usage to height. Oh, and now we have this really interesting uh, effect. I really like it. Um, if you think that it's a bit too much, like you can always change um, change this uh, height scale to a little bit like less, and then you can see more what's what's uh, happening. But uh, I, I plan to use this material cinema for this, so of course you can edit um, all sorts of uh, details in, in cinema for the after you're, you're done with this, uh, this material. I think it's really, it's really nice. So we have, uh, now we have, um, I'm going to change the tiling quickly. Okay, so this is the material that we have and uh, it's not transparent yet because there is one more thing we have to do and we have to drop this image and find the opacity map so this is gonna be the opacity map and now you can see that you have this really nice 
um, soft uh, transparency in our material. I think it looks really good. So let's see, we have a roughness map, we have a base color. I will just hold them around, so we have base color, roughness. We don't have any metallic in this material, so I'm not going to add a, a metallic layer. And um, we have an opacity map. Um, basically, there is just one more uh, thing that I wanted to show you that is kind of important, I would say. And it's called color variation. And in the color variation filter, you can uh, select what would you like to replace, which which um, layer, which uh, channel you would like to affect. And and uh, for example, if uh, you don't have enough contrast in your um, alpha channel because of your image, the generate generative image uh, came out a little bit like not contrast enough. You can always uh, you can you change these settings, and then you will have more. Uh, contrast in your alpha channel and now you can see that it's like uh, it's like really really uh, black and white this this uh, this image so so here we go this is what uh, this is how I created this um, really nice lace material that I'm going to show you in a minute is in my um, first let's check how I exported this material I just changed one thing in my export I wanted to export it as an SPSR um, file because basically just drag and drop it into Cinema 4D which is very useful and um, I did not have an opacity channel here in the channels to expo export so I had to go down here and select which channel I would like to um, add so you just have to tick this little box and then it's going to be on your uh, list of um, channels that you exported and now I just click on export I really like this material, so I just want to want to export it, and I want to keep it. So here we are in Cinema 4D. I already had uh, some of these abstract uh, models in my in my scene. So let's check the one that is close up on this one. So this is how it looks the previous lace material I created. I still don't have a mat material uh, preview in my material panel. It's not just uh, the substance materials, but none of them. So I know that uh, this is just a bug that uh, they are going to hopefully fix very soon. But until that, this is what we have to work with, that's what we have. So here is my material that I um, want to import and it's uh, I just drag and drop it basically here into the material panel. I I forgot to give it a name, so it's called this untitled untitled material. So this is how the previous uh, this previous material looks like that I created. I think the the contrast in the opacity map wasn't really uh, perfect, but um, we can just uh, we can just change it basically how it looks. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. I just drop it here to replace the the current material. The UVs are, of course of this little organic thing are not perfect because I did not have the time to properly set the UVs. It's like automatic UVs, you guys. Um, but hopefully I can uh, I can show you how it's uh, working. There's a little bit of balloon action going on in the animation that you might have seen on my on my social media channels where you can find the link uh, links in my in my bio to on my social media social media channels and there you can see the the rendered animation of this uh, this project so this is how how the close-up of this uh, lace material looks like i kind of love it for some reason there is a, like a little bit of an alien vibe going on I think it's really, really pretty. It's important that you uh, add a redshift uh, object tag and then you turn on the displacement in the material because that's when you're gonna have these really nice, uh, nice details. 
So as you can see, it was it was so easy to just uh, drag and drop this 3D material into cinema, and already you can just work uh, work with it and uh, create all sorts of fun fun renders with uh, with it. There is one more thing that I, I wanted to show you, so that if you go to the node editor and uh, you want to change the color, for example, the base color, then you can just unlink this and uh, you can just add um, add the new node, like a color node or anything like that, or replace it with another image, and uh, you just have to plug it in. So here you can see that the substance material uh, nodes and uh, so basically everything is connected the way that it should be connected already uh, in the in the substance material to this redshift uh, red material and I think it's really it's really cool that like you don't really have to do anything everything is immediately uh, connected connected in cinema for this so like here is the color node and the um, now let's add the color like this for example, I'll just make it blue, it was, it was working really well in my other project. <laughs> let's say like this. And now we just have to wait for a, for a, for a preview. Probably I should change some of the, some of the settings that I have. Oh, anyway, it's already doing it. And we can also change the tiling a little bit. So let's make it a bit more dense, like this. And now we can we can render it out. And the, the same applies to the to the the roughness. For example, if you want to change it, uh, you can absolutely do that. And uh, you can also change um, the resolution. So, so let's see what comes out of this. Oh, this is really nice. So this is that little material that we created. We can also play with the, like in sampler, we can also adjust uh, the roughness of this material and everything. Uh, before we export it as an SVSR file, and uh, we can also export this, uh, some of these parameters that um, that are going to be editable in Cinema at the end. But uh, for this project, this is what I had in mind, and I could actually actually create it, and I think it turned out really cool. I create a lot of these abstract renders, and these uh, these these uh, materials just work perfect, perfectly fine for for my my projects so thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any any questions about anything just uh, just leave a leave a comment down below and i will try to answer it as soon as possible um, i hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial and see you on the next one bye